what is up what is good my fellow whitetails how's it going y'all hope you guys are having a wonderful day welcome back to the far cry 5 team deathmatch video by yours truly tinker of terror and as always i'm here to share with y'all maps that i find in the arcade lobby or on my exploration through the arcade library and today i have a pretty fun and cool map that i found recently called collateral damage and it is created by none other than rasted i believe it's pronounced Sorry if I'm butchering your name, but the map is essentially an urban neighborhood in the middle of the city that has gone through an earthquake or some sort of major catastrophic disaster that has caused a huge crater in the surface of the earth, dividing the street and surrounding neighborhoods into small little islands of sorts. And essentially the only way to reach the other end of the map is by crossing this single bridge or platform of sort that connects the now separated neighborhood and the story or the idea of the map I thought was pretty cool and definitely makes for a fun map to play in as well you could either be on the defensive and protect the, your quote unquote little island by protecting the bridge and killing anyone on the opposing team from crossing into your territory or you can be on the offensive and try to cross the bridge and infiltrate your enemy's territories and put in as much work as you can rack up as many kills as possible before getting yourself killed and I like the way that the map is laid out and set up that it gives you the option of multiple roles you can play as during the actual map itself and me personally you know I've seen other maps do this um, some executed well and some not I did like the idea of that one bridge but I would add something um, else to it, which I'll get later on into the video. Me personally, I love to infiltrate the enemy's territory and be as sneaky and technical as possible in order to not die so quickly. Taking advantage of the opportunity to kill as many people since sometimes it is difficult to cross the bridge, especially if the team is doing a good job of defending it. But whichever role you decide to take part of during the match, you'll still have fun either way. Now, what I was trying to say earlier about the bridge um, was that I kind of I do like the idea about the single bridge, but at the same time, I wish maybe that the creator of the map could have added more than one way to cross the map. I mean, he could have possibly added another bridge, but at the same time, this could have some pros and cons to it. For one, it could have maybe made crossing the map easier, making you not value your life as you could easily just cross the bridge again once you spawn. But at the same time, if you're a defender, you would have to work as a team more since you have another bridge to worry about. Instead of another bridge, he could have added some underground pipes that have been exposed due to the earthquake that the player can jump down to to cross the crater and it could have been made difficult so if the player does decide to use the pipe to cross the crater they could easily fall to their death by making the pipes not go in a straight line but making it go right or left or have it where you have to jump onto one broken pipe to another or my final suggestion is that the parts near the edge of the crater where there is no cover but instead open space, blue ropes that let you throw your hook at to grapple and climb could have been added there instead, maybe two on each side of the map. Again, providing more than one option to cross the crater, but if not done at the right time can be an easy kill for the opposing team. Now again, these are just some ideas that occurred to me while playing the map. But that being said, the map in its current state, I still think is phenomenal and great and still fun to play. The map itself, in my opinion, looks good and sure it could have been added a lot more vegetation to the map. But again, not every map has to look or be as detailed as, let's say, Fallen Champ map. Just enough to make the map look good and to get the theme across. But the more detailed, the better, I always say. But the objects that were used go perfectly with the theme of the map and nothing feels out of place or that it doesn't belong so to me that's always a plus there are four different loadouts and each loadout pertains to what the player wants to do during the match 
you have the assault, the mafia, the infiltration, and the sniper rifle. The, ass the assault loadout comes with the AK-47, and then it also comes with the M16 and the SBS shotgun. The mafia loadout comes with the AK-47, the AKM, and the 308 carbine. And my favorite, the infiltration, that comes with the AKM, the MP5SD, and the Spaz shotgun. And that loadout has um, silencers on it. And then the sniper loadout, which comes with the 308 carbine, the 44 Magnum, and the MP50 sniper rifle. Fight. So, if you want to infiltrate, you can do that. If you want to defend, you can do that. If you want to be in the distance or stay on your side of the map to get kills, you could do that as well. And each map, I mean, each match, I will say, is different because there are some matches where. I have to constantly defend since the opposing team is constantly trying to invade my side of the map. And there are other times where I have to try to get kills on my side of the map since the opposing team is making it almost nearly impossible for me to cross onto their side of the map. So I like that about the map that it doesn't always play the same each time I play it which gives the map a different dimension to it and makes it unique from other maps that I've played so far. Overall, I think the map looks great, it looks phenomenal, it's definitely fun to play with. If you guys enjoy the video and like what you're seeing, go ahead and download the map itself. The map is called Collateral Damage and have fun. Shout outs to Rostit for making such a great map. I definitely had fun playing it and it's mainly the, ma the main reason why I decided to share it with you guys in the Far Cry 5 community. So shout out to Rastid and I applaud you for making such a, a great map. Anyhow that's everything I have to say about the map and I hope you guys enjoyed the video, the gameplay, the commentary and yada yada yada. So anyhow Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Deuces!
Almost there. imminent. You're almost there. 